So what is an Amazon bin store? I have gotten that question so many times before, and today we're gonna to be talking about Amazon Ben stores. I'm gonna be showing you the ones that I go to and kind of what I found over the years. We're actually gonna look at some stuff that I got today at the Ben store, and we're gonna see if it was profitable or was it a waste of time. All right, so let me, we're, we're gonna, this, okay, this is a disclaimer. This is not a good decision. So the reason I'm saying I'm making a bad decision is because I got a pallet yesterday, like actually last night, a couple hours ago, and uh, I have not processed it yet. Now I'm going to get more stuff. It's like, makes, makes the most sense, right? So now let's talk about what a liquidation Amazon bin store is. So what it is, is basically a place that buys truckloads of Amazon small pallets. Sometimes they get medium pallets and they take the stuff from that pallet and they throw it all into these troughs or these bins. And they normally charge one specific price for each item. So, you know, it may be $5, it may be $6, it may be $7. And a lot of times they have a falling price model. So they'll have, you know, the first day is $7, the next day will be $6, the next day will be $5, and they keep going on down to every item is a dollar inside the bins. Now, what can you find at these bin stores? So I found everything from, I mean, items that's $500. I found some $600, $700 items. I found some items that aren't worth anything. There's probably more items that's not worth anything in the bins uh, than actual uh, profitable items um, that's in the bins. But the reason that a lot of people like the liquidation bins is because you can have a hands-on experience with picking out your items. So think about it like this, you can, go and buy a pallet and it has what it has on it. You can get a manifested pallet or just a liquidation pallet in general that has a bunch of stuff on it. Or you can go and just purchase the specific items that you would like to resell on that pallet. You know, so some people, they, they wanna do that second option. They just wanna pick out the items that they wanna resell. You don't necessarily know exactly the condition of the items. Some of the places let you plug the stuff in and test everything. Um, I've been at the store and tested stuff before and still got it home and it was messed up or it was missing a part. Um, so it's still liquidation items. It's still the same thing as if you was buying a liquidation pallet, but you do have a higher chance of find, finding high dollar items that you can flip online for profit. This was the moment that I realized the lady next to me got my item that I wanted, and I wasn't happy about it. So I'm gonna take you down memory lane on some of the items that I found at the liquidation bin store that was very, very profitable. But I think if I can think back correctly, now don't, my brain is not great, so it may not, this may not be the right one, but I think the most expensive thing that I purchased at the Lim the Amazon bin store was for $6 and it was a Dyson Airwrap. So if you know what that is, that's a Dyson like, hair curler, dryer type, I don't know, it's expensive, whatever it is. It was brand new, it was literally sealed in a main, the Dyson manufacturer box. And I didn't realize what it was, I knew that it, was, it had Dyson on it and I knew it was brand new because it was sealed in the box, but I didn't know what it was. I didn't know what an air wrap was and I knew it was six bucks. So I, you know, it was a, uh, I was just gonna buy it. And on it, I saw it was in this brown box and it looked like it was sealed. This brown box was sealed Okay. Uh, around this box, which right. this is the actual box. So I said, maybe it's new. I don't know, it's Dyson, I'm gonna grab it. It was pretty heavy Yeah. and I picked up, I didn't do any soul comps on it right then. So I got over to the side and I said, I'm just gonna do a soul comp on just the top thing. This just so happened to be on the top. And mainly I was, I, when I scanned this, I'm gonna tell him, look at that. It's got all the parts, all the pieces. Everything is perfect. There ain't no hair in here because it's new. $540. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe, I cannot believe that I found something that was that much. $540. So I have had multiple trips where I had multiple thousands of dollars worth of stuff from the Amazon bin. So it can be a really good source if you have one near you. Now I have made an entire video that I'll link up at the top about how to find a liquidation bin store near you. Um, and then also I have a plethora of bin store videos on my other channel if you wanna check those out. It kinda shows you some of the items to look for. Once you get into the bin store and actually start looking at the items, you'll start realizing like what's junk, what's good. You'll start recognizing brands. You'll 
start knowing like what kind of boxes to look at. But I don't want I want to expand your horizons for, for what you think you can buy when you want to get in, if you want to get into liquidation, if you want to get into like reselling, there's other ways to do it other than just going to a thrift store or just buying liquidation pallets or just doing like retail arbitrage, going and buying like clearance and selling stuff online. There's a bunch of different ways you can get into liquidation. Men's stores is a really good one. Before we get back to the store, let's look at another place that I really like to frequent to get some stuff for reselling and it's Ross. Have y'all ever go to, do y'all go to Ross? Oh my God, I'm so addicted to going to Ross. They have so much stuff. Look at all this stuff. I get all this stuff, all these little figurines and stuff in my room. I get them from Ross, but also they have some good stuff for resale. All right, so this is the stuff that I got from the Ben store. I did pick up this book. Uh, all the books at the Ben store or the Ben store I go to are a dollar every day. So I always tend to pick up books if they're more than like $20, $25 because um, they're easy money makers. Um, so this particular one is brand new sealed. They have them listed for around the $50 mark. I don't see any solds, but I only scanned the barcode. So if I search it with the title, I probably will find some solds, but $50 for that. Um, and then I got this nice iron flask, uh, 64 ounce water bottle. It is brand new and it has three uh, lids. This one's selling for about $55 as well. Uh, and then I got two of these uh, headsets. I got these for our whatnot show because generally headsets do pretty well with our whatnot show. We don't make, they're not like big money makers. I only paid um, $8 for them. So if I can get $10 for it, you know, it's just like a little bit of a profit, but it does help with selling a lot of the other stuff on our whatnot. So sometimes you got to have uh, a loss leader. That's what I, you know, kind of what I call it. Anyway, I got two of those. Uh, and then I also got this little portable mini uh, Bluetooth printer so we almost had a catastrophe <laughs> i don't know exactly how much that uh bluetooth printer goes for but uh i'll probably include that also in the whatnot sale uh, also i had this monocular mon monocular um and these sell for about 40 dollars and then i got a heating pad which is pretty cool it sells for about 50 dollars uh and then also i picked up this uh pain all over body pain reliever thing uh and these sell for about $40 as well. I probably put this in the whatnot show though. Now, while I didn't do very great today, I still did overall pretty good for the amount of money I spent and also the amount of time that I spent at the Ben store. I cannot wait to make more of these Ben store videos. I'm going to be going to the Ben store pretty much every week uh, for the next couple. Well, hold on. That's a lie. I'm <laughs> starting next week. When I get back, I'll be going to the Ben store pretty much every single week and I'll be showing you guys some of my best finds from those Ben store trips. If you want to see more of these videos, make sure you check out this playlist here. It's going to have all the Ben store adventures from both channels all in this one playlist and also there's going to be some new ones made on this channel so make sure you hit that subscribe button because you don't want to miss any of those i will see you guys on the next one peace